Welcome back from that short commercial break. It's East Vibes TV, East Uganda channel 061 on Zuko Decoder TV, East Uganda on our Facebook page, as well as our YouTube page. And of course, Eastern Uganda is blessed to the fullest, to the maximum, as I've always told you. That's okay, I gather, because the one and only boy is in the building to represent a Tesla vibes, a Tesla home, a East Vibes in the Tesla, when the region, when the everything. And, uh, but anyway, I'm uh, going to say that, and you know, I'm saying that, and of course, I'm blessing. You know, Banga, I'm going to say that, Jeffrey Walero, yes, but I'm blessing, but I'm going to say that, and I'm going to say that, we promote our own, we promote our very own talents. There are very many untouched talents, there are very many, untouched talents. There are very many people that we don't know, and of of course, uh, in the studios with me, I have one and only. He will introduce himself. I don't want to introduce himself. Welcome to the studios. Thank you. Thank How you, is Hopkins. the going? Going is good. It's great. Everything is fine. Greet the people and tell them who you are before I, I say something. Idope Tiare Iuni. My names are Joey Amio as a video director, but also known just as Amio as a recording artist. Mm. Yeah, so those are pretty much uh, my Amio, names. welcome yes. to the studios. Thank you. Your real names, because uh, I, 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 you, you speak in some Ateso? Yes, oh, I do. Okay, so what, what, is the, uh, what, what are our botanical names? My botanical names, mm. Ekomu Joel Amio. Ekomu Joel Amio. Amio. That's wow. right, that's right. Yes, uh, 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 Ekomu, what kind of music do you do? I do, I blend uh, Afro beats. Mm together with uh, dance hall. Mm. I also put in a little bit of soul and jazz in it. And then I fuse in our local traditional percussions of mm. Teso, Akogo, mm. Arigirigi, yeah. uh, into the mix. So I come with something that is more like a Muchuzi mix of all music. Muchuzi mix of Teso kind of music. Yes, together with contemporary. What has, uh, what, what, what has been your journey like? What has, how, how have you been, like how have you made it? To, to have that mood choosy mixed, you know, uh, Akogo, all that kind of music. How has the journey been like? It's been, for the most part, it's been a tough one True. as an artist. It's True. taken me a couple of years to blend and create my own style. Mm. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of music from different parts of the world and our local music from Uganda. And so I decided to take all those aspects, all those styles, mm. and blend in and come up with my own. Yeah. So it's been a little bit a difficult journey, creative-wise. Mm. But I'm happy with what I'm creating right now. Mm. It's a new sound back for me in Teso. Mm. But also, when the music is projected mm. outside that region, mm. it's unique, it's True. good, and pounds well, and it vibes well. It so, sounds different. Yes. It sounds original. That's right. How do you manage produ a video, video directing and music at the same time? Because I believe one, one of the other brings in the money. And, mm. uh, and so how do you You're balance? Right. And how do you manage? And what came first? Uh, videography came first. Videography came first. Yes. Videography came first. Then music came. Then right. music came. So how do you balance? So what happens is that videos make the bread. Mm. Videos make the money. True. The music for me is like therapy. It's, uh, it's why I go to to relax, mm. to freshen up, mm. and to put my mind in a space where I'm... Um, uh, if I have an idea, a creative idea, mm. that an artist has not been able to put, mm. me as uh, a musician, mm. I take that opportunity to use it for creating music. Mm. So videography for me pays the bills. And the music is, is where I relax off from. Oh, it's, it's something that you just kind of do just when you're in your free time, you're yes. relaxing, you're chilling. That's right. You want to speak your heart out. You want right. to speak to somebody. That's when you sit down. So you write your own music? Yes, I do write my music. You're very talented. You're multi-talented. You're a producer. Uh, I, I believe even in audio production somewhere, somehow. You actually, have Hopkins, what happened was mm. that uh, a few years ago, because I was shooting videos for artists, so I was part of the creative process, both in making the music, mm. uh, coming up with concepts for the videos, mm. and then at the same time, help the artists craft uh, the songs. So I began before, I actually, before I got into music mm. and videography, mm. I was actually guiding artists in studio. I have a background of singing in church, mm. um, so vocally I, I would listen to an artist even before I shoot the video and I'm wow. like, no, I don't think you hear these vocals right. Wow. So I went back, uh, I would say behind the scenes, mm. helping artists uh, create the music. Wow. So uh, I shoot the videos huh? and then when I listen to the artists, probably even before they release the song, they give me an opportunity. Yeah. Joey, come to studio. Sure. First listen to the song before 
we shoot the video. True. So I would listen to the song and give them ideas on the song. Mm. I give them concepts on some of the vocal changes that would happen. Mm. So that's how I got into music. Is all this happening in Teso region? Now, this started in different regions first. Exactly. In northern Uganda, uh -huh. then I did work in Central. Mm. I shot a couple of music videos and work with artists. Mm. In the lockdown Hopkins, I decided to go back, back home. home. That's when all the things stand out, you know. I don't know how somewhere, somehow, but lockdown has a touch that it has really created in the different regions or when it comes to entertainment or music industry. Uh, I think it was that time, particular time, that people now realize they have to go back home. They have to change home. They have to be the... The, the most important stakeholders when it comes to the production oh, yes. of home because uh, even me at a particular point of time being where I am right now I felt like it, it was in the lockdown I thought mm. it came in the lockdown I'm like no I need to go back and serve uh, my home people because my home people need me more so were you going back home has how did you find it the well, before and after how do you find it is it in are you progressing to where you wanted it to become Okay, yes, pretty much, mm. pretty much. Mm. When I went back home, first of all, the music videos at the time were ish-ish. I would say they were in that pretty good. That is very true. So the videographers there were doing a great job, but they weren't equipped enough and skilled enough to be able to do videos that mm. are able to compete on, mm. on the local space, mm. national space. Mm. So in, uh, in the lockdown, I decided to start working with a couple of artists back at home. First of all, as a video director. Yeah. I work with artists like Triple J. Mm. I did videos for them. I also went to Karamoja and worked with artists from Karamoja, like Evie Trace. I did for them a video called Lo Chupa. Mm. So that helped um, the industry begin to see different uh, art and mm. creativity and quality mm. in the music videos. Mm. So if you ask me your question, how have you seen? I think we are growing. Mm. We are improving and we have pretty much uh, beautiful work that is able to contend well and to show uh, out there and represent Teso at large. That goes back to my, uh, what is the status of audio and uh, video production in terms of quality in the East right now? In the East right now, we're doing good. We are not yet there, but we're doing good. So we are, we're on the journey to good. That is it. Okay. That is it. Audio wise, I think we have, we've reached uh, a leveled up uh, uh, sound, I would mm, say. Yeah. The music from the other side is very good, it's well very produced, very well mastered, True. and the artists are doing a great job. Mm. The videos we're still getting there because it's costly to do a music true. video, a good music that video. That is very true. So there's a little bit of a hitch there, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. So uh, uh, before we go in for a, a break, uh, what is your style? In and what is your target audience? Because you're a videographer, okay? You're a, cre you're, a, you're a creator, but when you come to music, of course, you're doing something like at a chill, at a chill pill, like I'm just doing something, I'm just, you know, but what's your target audience and what's your kind of style? Okay, my style is Afrofusion. Afrofusion, that is now the Machuzi. Yes. That's so the what's your target audience for the my Machuzi? My target audience, let me first put the age bracket. Yeah. From 14. Uh-huh. To 35. That it must be. So, so that's that's the young audience. I would say that's the young audience that vibes to the new sound, mm. Afrobeats, mm. R&B, mm. hip hop, mm. dancehall. You know all. So that is my target audience. From 14 to 35, you must be having informative kind of music. Okay, so my lyric delivery usually exactly yes mm. tells stories that relate with people of that age. Ah. Yeah. So. In a nutshell, that's pretty much how my music is infused. It's that's, interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, when I look at you, I look at a very serious kind of person. So when I listen to the music and the person I'm looking at right now, it feels like it's kind of different uh, characters. But then again, when I look at the videos now, that is now when I feel that I like now. This is really Amnio. This is really Amnio. But anyway, uh, it's vibes from 1 to 2 p.m. January, uh, January to December, Monday to Friday. In the building with me, I have Amnio, the videographer, Amnio, the musician. I'm you, the content creator. I'm you, the everything. But then, where Tesla is well represented here in the studio, it's a fire Friday. I want us to go in for a short song break and I'll be back shortly. Don't touch it down. <laughs> 